A great deal of energy is needed in Europe, not only for industry and transport, but also for private households. Whether for heating or warm water, the energy required at home is supplied mostly by heating oil or natural gas. However, these energy sources are limited and are becoming more and more expensive. The discussion about the climate change levy in the UK and rising oil prices makes this clear. As a result, one fuel has gained increasing significance recently, wood. Wood is a low-cost fuel. Many people can obtain firewood for very little money or even for nothing. It comes either from private woods or can be collected from foresters. Another cheap source is waste wood from joiners' businesses or the woodworking industry, which would otherwise have to be expensively disposed of. Wood is also an environmentally friendly fuel, since the pollutant emissions of modern wood-fired heating systems are extremely low. Moreover, sustainable forestry in the UK ensures that exactly the same amount of wood is replanted that has been cut down. In other words, in this country, wood can be seen as a regenerative natural resource, that is, one that grows again and again. The amount of pollution released by wood as a fuel is remarkably low. Although the burning of wood emits the greenhouse gas CO2, it is only as much as the trees previously took out of the air by photosynthesis. So, with sustainable forestry, there is no additional emission of CO2 into the atmosphere. Few people realize that wood which rots in the forest emits just as much CO2 as when it's burnt. The fuel wood cannot be blamed for acid rain or the ozone layer. Sulfur dioxide is considered to be the main cause of acid rain. But since wood contains virtually no sulfur, it does not emit sulfur dioxide when burnt. The environmental friendliness of wood-fired heating depends on the quality of design of the boiler. The Kunsel wood-fired boiler converts untreated sticks of firewood into heat with high efficiency and low emissions. The best type of wood for the boiler is straight split logs. But pallet wood, wood briquettes and roughly chopped wood can also be used. Sawdust, coal, coke, lignite briquettes, chipboard and plastics may not be burnt. What is important when burning wood is that it has a moisture content of about 20%. Wood which is too wet does not burn well. This results in unacceptably high emissions and far higher wood consumption. But wood which is too dry can also cause problems. The best thing is for the firewood to be stored in a well-ventilated, covered and sunny place for at least two years. Closed areas, such as garages and cellars, are not suitable for storage. An expert must select the right boiler for each building. The first step is to determine the exact heat consumption of the house. Here it is important not to forget the heat needed for supplying warm water in the building. The dimensions of a wood-fired boiler do not, however, depend only on the heat consumption. The choice of the right boiler is also a question of the type of firewood used and the number of times per day the boiler is loaded with fuel. In contrast to oil and gas-fired boilers, wood-fired boilers cannot work at full power 24 hours a day. In addition, they must fill the accumulator tank during operation. For these reasons, a larger boiler is often selected than might seem necessary for purely heat consumption purposes. For example, a person who usually uses beech wood and recharges the boiler four times on cold winter days needs a boiler designed for about 30% more than the calculated heat consumption. On the other hand, someone who wants more convenience should choose a boiler which is 50% bigger. In any case, it is advisable to discuss in detail beforehand the size of boiler with a heating expert. Depending on the site conditions and the demands on ease of operation and comfort, there are three basic types of Kunzel wood-fired boilers to choose from. The wood-fired boiler type HV with standard or microprocessor control panel with output levels of 15, 24, 35 and 50 kilowatts. This boiler type 
is the most inexpensive Kunzel wood-fired boiler, but not at the cost of heating comfort, ease of operation and simple maintenance. The model with a microprocessor control panel even has a half-load setting. The HV is especially suitable for buildings with an adequately sized chimney. The wood-fired boiler type HVS with exhaust fan and microprocessor control panel is also available with a half-load setting and output levels of 15, 24, 35 and 50 kilowatts. The construction of the HVS is very similar to that of the HV, but it is fitted with an exhaust fan so that a modern wood-fired boiler can be operated with difficult chimneys. Finally, there is the fully regulated wood-fired boiler type Biturbo, BT for short. The power of the BT is regulated up to 50% part load. Burning is regulated by a lambda probe and the boiler has electric ignition. It is Kunzel's most high-tech product and offers considerable heating comfort. The boiler ignites automatically and can be used with any sort of firewood, including difficult material such as untreated waste wood from joiners' workshops. The Kunzel concept has the right boiler for any application. Modern gasifier technology ensures that the energy stored in the firewood is converted efficiently into heat. The wood is first turned into gas in the loading chamber. The gas is blown downwards by a fan where it is burnt in a swirl chamber burner at temperatures of about 1000 degrees Celsius and with little residue. It creates a clean flame similar to that in a gas burner. The fan plays a critical role in the wood-fired boiler. The air carried by it divides into primary and secondary air. The primary air determines the output of the boiler, the secondary air the quality of the burning. With the types HV and HVS, the proportion of primary and secondary air is such that all usual types of firewood can be burnt efficiently. The wood-fired boiler Biturbo, however, is fitted with two fans which conduct primary and secondary air into the boiler separately. The primary air, and thus the output of the boiler, is controlled according to the energy required. The secondary air depends on the amount of oxygen required by the burning process, which is automatically determined by a lambda probe. Even the best wood-fired boiler can only be operated efficiently together with a properly functioning heating system. And the most important components of such a system are the thermomix valve, the accumulator tank, the thermal dissipation safety device, the pumps, the external temperature control, and the chimney connection. The thermomix valve is an extremely important part of the wood-fired heating system. A wood boiler is most efficient if the return water is kept at a constant temperature. The Thermomix valve helps to keep the return temperature constant and also allows the boiler to heat up quickly and so operate cleanly and efficiently. In the Thermomix valve, hot water from the boiler is mixed with cold water returning from the heating and the buffer reservoir. This protects the boiler from condensation and so from corrosion. The importance of the Thermomix valve is also demonstrated by the fact that Kunzel cannot give a guarantee on the boiler body if there is no such valve to boost the return flow temperature automatically. The accumulator tank also plays a major role in wood-fired systems because it ensures environmentally friendly, economical and comfortable operation. During operation, the accumulator tank collects the surplus heat and transfers it to the heating system when the wood boiler no longer burns, for example at night. Kunzel recommends an accumulator tank volume of 50 to 70 litres per kilowatt of boiler output for optimum operation.